Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's going to be an uh, installation of a Tesla Powerwall which we did in Wigan. Throughout the video, I will be explaining things such as the process, the commissioning and basically the whole install. So please enjoy. Again, we pride ourselves on our work for being neat and tidy, as demonstrated in this video. In relation to the gateway, the gateway acts as the Tesla Powerwall's brain, so it will know whether to charge or discharge the battery, and it also knows when the grid is connected and not, obviously due to when you're in backup mode. As you can see here, it's obviously ripping off the uh, protected film. Such a satisfying thing to do. <laughs> but again, you'll see now how clean our work is. I mean, we've seen some installs of power walls that are absolutely ridiculous. There's one that's actually been installed above a radiator in the living room. You wouldn't believe it. Here are some common questions that we get asked. And the answer is yes, the Tesla Powerwall is actually designed to go outside, hence why Mac is spraying it with a, a hose. <laughs> but they do recommend not putting in direct sunlight for more than two hours. Whilst going through the commissioning wizard, I just wanted to show you what the weather was like that day so you got an idea of what the solar was producing and how it was basically working during that day. For a split second you can see that the house is pulling from the grid. Please ignore that. In that time frame the power was just trying to connect. As you can see now that it's actually discharging from the power wall. So now you can see that the, ha the solar is producing 1.7. The house is 1.9 and then it's discharging the power wall at 200 watts. This is cool because usually you'd be pulling from the grid. So if you didn't have a power wall and you just had solar, a lot of the times you'll see, especially in the summer, oh, you can see there that it was charging the battery. But again, yeah, usually you'll see that your solar, your excess solar will go into the grid and it's just going to your neighbour, no, you're not saving it or using it for anything. You are now storing it. So now we're going to demonstrate a power cut. So what Max is doing is turning off the mains, which now you'll see that the lights are still on. You wouldn't even know that your power went off. You can see that the power wall is still on. And with it being in backup mode, it will still provide the energy needed for the solar to still work during the day. And just like that, you're in backup mode. So now, where you'd have no power, you've got power. So there'll be none of that resetting all your clocks. People don't believe it until they see it. And again, this is why I'm trying to explain to you guys how it works and how amazing this product is. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And yeah, look forward to seeing you next week. Also receive £50 when using our Octopus link.